Kia ora everyone, uh, my name is Eliana Goldberstein. Uh, I'm a chief scientist for uh, a, labor a laboratory manager for Mirad Pharmaceuticals and I'm also uh, the chief standards of the Vaping Trade Association of New Zealand. And I'm going to speak to you today about the safety of electronic nicotine delivery systems and their use uh, as a smoking cessation tools. So one of the important aspects that we need to have in mind when we're speaking about uh, hand reduction, um, which is uh, an aspect that is very relevant to, to vaping, is understanding that um, hand reduction is a paradigm that we, we know uh, and we've been using since the 80s. Um, and it's, a, it's a model that has been used by uh, the United Kingdom uh, for handling um, problems related to the use of substance, substance use and also for HIV. So following that model, uh, we've been modeling uh, harm reduction as a way to support, to, to put support uh, consumers rather than punishing for, for uh, their substance use or substance abuse. And there is a very important quote that uh, Michael Russell did um, a few decades ago. He said that people smoke for the nicotine but actually they die from it. We need to understand that one of the reasons why uh, cigarettes, cigarettes are, are so harmful is not because of the nicotine. It is the tar that is causing so, so many problems in and the, and the, smokers, and the smokers. And if we get to understand that people are dying for the tar but not because of the nicotine, and we cannot eliminate nicotine because people use nicotine for, for many reasons. People not only use nicotine because they are hooked into it, because people find that it's a pleasurable um, substance, a substance that helps them to alleviate stress, anxiety, many other things. Uh, we should be advocating for them to access a less harmful way of consuming nicotine. And this is where vaping comes in and this is why these principles of harm reduction are really and uniquely particular for vaping. Uh, there is a very famous person in the field of vaping, uh, Alex, Alex Wodak. He said that harm reduction is about the world we live in, not about the world in which we want to live in. Okay, we have been failing for decades in our public health approach on not setting up utopian goals, but failing to reach those utopian goals. And and we live in a world in, where, in which we cannot eliminate risk, but we live in a world in which we can certainly reduce risk. And that world is the world of vaping. With vaping, you can reduce risk. And because you can reduce risk, you can help thousands and millions that are dying because of smoking. Because we all know smoking is really harmful and it's not nicotine that is causing this harm. There are almost, uh, there are 14 cancers or 14 types of cancer that are attributed to the tar of the cigarettes and not the nicotine. Obviously lung cancer being one of them, but many other varieties of cancers and we all are very aware of that. So in the field of the harm reduction, um, we, we, we will be aware of other things that we've done um, to reduce risky behaviors. Like we have seat belts, helmets, and for instance, when somebody wears a seatbelt, it's reducing uh, by 50% the chance of dying in a traffic accident. And you will be surprised if I tell you that when you're vaping, you're reducing the risk of dying and having cancers to just a 5% from the total harm that is caused by smoking. And, that's, and that can be even lower if you get products that have exceptional quality and they're designed in a way that that risk can be even closer to zero. So it is, it is known that if we reduce the risk of cigarettes, we can prevent many, many, many deaths and many people dying from, 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 from cancer and from any other, many other conditions such as COPDs and, and the list is really long. So vaping as a technology uh, that I'm aware, most of you guys are very aware what is this technology. And I don't think I'm gonna go in detail on the history and how vaping was developed. But basically vaping uses a different met method to atomize or to release that nicotine in the air. Instead of com using combustion, which is a chemical process, that atomizes the nicotine after a combustion process is actually using another aspect of, of changing of 
of gas, uh, a changing of uh, states of nature, which is actually vaporization. So vaporization is completely different from combustion. And this is one of the reasons why vaping is already less harmful because we, the combustion is a very dirty process. Chemically speaking, it's a dirty, dirty process. And it's a process that you cannot control. Uh, a substance that passes through a process of combustion generates thousands and thousands of byproducts. And those byproducts can be really, really harmful. But in vaping, when you just heat, or when you heat it liquid at temperatures that are around 100 to 200 degrees, the risk of the generation of those byproducts reduce significantly. And one of the reasons why vaping is so effective is because it delivers nicotine in a similar manner as the tobacco smoke, and it provides a smoking-like experience. And also, it addresses the behavioral aspects such as hand-to-mouth action, sensorial effects such as throat heat, taste, the act of inhaling, exhaling, and other social aspects that are very important in the smoking ritual. And you can still keep doing those things with vaping without being uh, 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 like afraid of uh, developing a cancer or such, you know, such a very complicated uh, conditions that, that cigarettes do. So there is a whole science that has been developed since, uh, since the introduction of NRTs, which is called tobacco hand reduction. Um, one of the reasons why we have this, this field of, of, of science in the harm reduction is because smoking is the number one leading cause of deaths in the world, or the preventable deaths in the world. So it's a very important field because if we, if we understand why tobacco harm reduction is so important, we can reduce, we, we, can, we can help you know, people not die, <laughs> okay? So an example, my mom, she used to smoke for 50 years and uh, vaping is giving her a little bit back that life that she's lost during five decades. So, and this is one of the reasons why I am uh, a strong advocate for vaping. Not because I'm a vapor myself, but because my work is helping my mom to stay here in this, in this world for longer. But it's a little bit longer because she's, the harm that the cigarette has caused in my mom is already, it's, a, it's already long. But, but you understand why some of us are very passionate about educating the, the whole industry, the sectors, the, the politicians, doctors, about the importance of, of, the, of tobacco harm reduction and why it's so important to embrace uh, uh, this uh, new uh, aspect of, of harm reduction as a, as a field, as a way of a paradigm of, a pro, of approaching uh, the, the substance use. One of the reasons why tobacco harm reduction is so important is because up to one in every three persons that continue smoking will die for smoking related illnesses. And this is information we, we know because it can be one in, two, in every two. But when you reduce uh, the, the harm in the 95%, the, you can actually reduce the, the risk of dying from uh, smoking-like conditions to, to close to zero. Uh, how tobacco harm reduction is very important because the amount of, of substance, substances that come out from a cigarette are it's, it's, it's very different from the, the amount of substances that are released from an e-cigarette. So a, a cigarette can release up to 7,000 different chemicals. And from those 7,000 chemicals, approximately 400 are categorized as toxic. And from those 400 categorized as toxic, 77 are known to cause cancer. And we have polonium 210, just as an example showing what you can get in, a, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the cigarette. But when we compare our emissions with a vaping, we actually can see, and we can start noting, noting how different they are. They are not risk-free, so it is not responsible to say that vaping is safe, but is definitely and significantly safer than smoking. So this is something that we always need to have in mind because this is the reason why vaping is so relevant, okay? When you're trying to combine and understand the amount of different chemicals that are you releasing from a vaping device, you, are, you can go up to maximum 120 different ingredients. And most of those ingredients will be tiny amounts and traces of those flavors that we, we actually enjoy, okay? Like the, the, the vapors. And you can break it down and say that possibly from those 120, you will find 30 
or less that could be of a risk of or could, or could be considered somehow toxic. And depending on how you're baking, you can have up to three or four ingredients that are considered, are considered harmful. And this is pretty much just for your vaping pa patterns. If you are heating your coils too much or if you are not buying uh, your liquid from reputable manufacturers. Okay, so understanding toxicology is very important because toxicology is a science that needs, um, um, it's relative, it's a relative science. It's not, you can't simply say something is toxic if you never, if you are not able to relate that toxicity to something else. Some people will always say, oh, nicotine is toxic, you know, and that, that's a very irresponsible statement if you are not comparing that with something else. Because I can also say that an equivalent amount of caffeine is equally, equally toxic than nicotine. And this is something that I find that uh, a, a lot of people that are attacking the vaping industry is using. <clears throat> it's using a, toxic, a toxicity as a word without actually using actual um, way of making people help to understand the toxicity based on uh, how much grams per kilogram or grams per cubic meter a person is doing health in order to cause uh, harm or death. So yes, in a, we know that nicotine, 100% nicotine is toxic. We know it needs to be handled in care. But when you put a nicotine on it in an illiquid uh, and it's a product that is ready to bake, the amount of like the level of toxicity reduces considerably and is not very different from other consumer products that you can find in your household. Okay, in other consumer that products that you even consume. Actually, alcohol itself can be more harmful per amount by weight than vaping or like a vaping bottle or something like that. Okay, so this is something for, for people, it's very important for people to understand this. And we can see, for instance, how um, different uh, elements uh, or different products are available for the harm reduction of tobacco harm reduction. We have uh, patches, we have gums, we have sprays, which is something that they're mainly pharmaceutical products, but we notice, we, we know, we, all of us have experienced that those um, are not particularly effective in helping smokers to quit. So in one of the reasons why vaping is becoming like this rock star of, of the tobacco harm reduction world is because it's, it's, it's the one that is helping the most, most people to quit, you know? And you will, have, you will have a lot of people saying that that's not true or they will try to debunk you lies, but you will, be, you, you will know as a vapor that that's true. You will, you will know someone that quit cigarettes after decades of smoking, finally, with vaping. All right, so thank you so much, everyone. I appreciate your time and I appreciate also uh, being here. And thank you, Nancy, and thank you, everyone, uh, and all you vapors for keeping this battle and keep vaping.